think we've heard it about a million times if you've ever been a part of any sort of gear group on Facebook or basically the internet. You'll hear things like, why do you need so many pedals? What's the deal with all of the overdrives and distortions? You don't need that many. Why not just use the distortion on your amp? Or my favorite, if you had a good amp, you wouldn't need any overdrive or distortion pedals. Then there's always the person that says, stop worrying about all the gear, just play guitar. All right, so we have three different pedals, of course, and I'm hoping that this is the sort of video that whenever someone says that, you can kind of point them to and say, this, th this is why. So I'll do a few quick demonstrations on just why some of those are sort of what I would call fallacies. It might be easy to explain it to a person that's sort of like this. You know, when you're at Christmas time and you get this stocking, I assume maybe you don't celebrate Christmas, but let's say you do celebrate Christmas and you get a stocking and it's got all different kinds of chocolate. It's got your Hershey's Kisses and it's got your Kit Kat, your Kit Kats and your Reese's and all that sort of thing. Now, it's kind of nice to have variety, isn't it? Because if it's nothing but Hershey Kisses, that's great. But sometimes you're like, man, I just need a little bit of peanut butter. And that's kind of how pedals are in a way. It's like flavors to inspire you to do something cool and different and, um, you know, something that you may not be able to get from the same static tone all the time. So that's kind of the overall reason for it. So here's one such example. Playing on a clean tone on my bravado amp. Nice clean tone, but what if you need a little bit of a mid boost? Because let's say it's a part of the song that you need to not necessarily change the overall volume of it, but you do need to stand out in the mix just a little bit. Well, take a tube screamer type of circuit or something that's gonna accentuate the mids, turn it so it's sort of clean, but make sure the volume is set to compensate. <laughs> We could also dial in some more gain and get a completely different tone. Now that's gonna be something completely worlds different than like my Sedano behind me or a Marshall or anything like that. It's a completely different tone. Now, if you try to use the tone of let's say the Sedano in place of that, you're gonna sort of fail miserably if that's the sound you're looking for. So that's just one example. Now compare that with a completely, totally different pedal type tone. Let's use the Bogner here. It's completely, totally different than a Tube Screamer. Not even in the same neighborhood. And then to push this point just a little bit further, let's take a rat type of circuit, which as you turn the distortion past about noon, we start getting into fuzz territory. Again, completely different. That's just not a tone that you're gonna get in an amp. Um, not that it's better or worse, but it's something different. It's a different flavor of gain. So let's compare that head on with this Sedano. So you can see, again, not better or worse, just different. <laughs> So next time you're at a gig and you know your drummer says something to you like, why do you need all those pedals? You don't need all those pedals. We send them the link and they'll understand after that. That's just a joke. I love drummers too. <laughs>